All right, today I am going to build a Jacob's Ladder out of an old junk microwave that I had laying around. Uh, I actually have like six of them, so it's not a big deal. Um, not the best for building a Jacob's Ladder, but for just a quick demonstration, it'll work perfect. So, uh, Okay, so here's the transformer I ripped out. Uh, I've just basically connected two leads to the primary side secondary side cut and ready to go. I uh, also have a board here that I have pre-drilled four holes for the transformer to sit in uh, and then two holes down here for the steel rods to stick out of. Uh, now for that you definitely want to mount it to a surface that's not going to conduct uh, otherwise your house will burn down so don't do that um, so measure about the middle of your board and then measure about a quarter inch on either side of it so you want about a half inch separation and that's it as far as the mount goes so let's put it together All right. so I also salvaged this uh, power cord from the microwave. No sense in cutting up a, a new cable. The microwave's gone anyway, so uh, it's pretty self explanatory. You want your green wire, earth wire connected to the ground, which you need to ground it directly to the transformer block. Uh, and then we've got our hot and neutral, which we are going to wire up as well. So. While I'm putting this together, I'd also like to mention, uh, unless you know what you're doing, and even in the case that you do know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing this at home. Uh, playing with high voltage is deadly, to say the least. We don't want anybody killing themselves. last screw here we are going to ground one of the leads I've already added a connector to that uh, we are going to ground that to the transformer See that is mounted, not going anywhere onto the, the board. Okay. And again, this is a demonstration. I'm not going to solder anything together or anything like that. Just going to wire tie everything together for speed. secondary lead here we are going to connect to this 
little strip of wire. Tight. white leading to the red lead, black leading to the black lead, and our ground cable grounded to the transformer there. Alright. So now for connections. Again, not soldering anything just simply because this is a demonstration no sense in making more effort than needed so I'm actually going to just stick these wires down in these pre-drilled holes like so and for the wire uh, not too many people keep wire coat hangers these days uh, actually, these are barbecue hot dog skewers that I just had starting to rust a little bit on my grill. So I straightened one out and am using it for the probes. And it actually had a little handle at the bottom of it that made a nice little bend for causing the arc to die out. It worked out pretty good. Alright, that's in there. Yeah, let me kind of let you see what's going on here. So I've got the probes down in the hole. And basically just shove the wire in there and the probes make contact. Wires leading back, the secondary lead and ground, and our power cord connected as shown before. So that is pretty much it. Uh, the last thing I want to do just keep these things from sliding down because the holes do go all the way through the board. <laughs> Straighten up there. I am going to wrap this in some electrical tape, which will melt a little bit in the process of firing it up. So that is it. We have a finished Jacob's Ladder. Straighten the probes a little bit, kind of line them up. And we are pretty much ready to fire it up.